This is Tesla Envy here, and uh, I want to show you guys how I go about calibrating my uh, R shunt values for the controllers that I sell. Uh, you guys can uh, do this on your own for the controllers that you have. Uh, it's a pretty easy process if you have an eye charger uh, that can do foam cut uh, and just a standard multimeter. So I'll show you uh, the connection here. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to feed a, a constant current. In this case. 10 amps using the foam cut feature of the eye charger. So we're going to feed 10 amps of current. Uh, for the, the positive terminal is going to actually connect to the negative uh, battery terminal of your controller. So red positive to your black negative of the controller. Uh, so you're feeding power from the from the negative side, and then uh, through the the FETs uh, and the current uh, and the shunt, and then back out one of the phases. So the on the uh, eye charger, the 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 negative or the black cable needs to connect to one of your phases. Uh, I have this one connected to my yellow phase. You could also connect it to the green or the blue phase. So that's the path: uh, positive through the in in the negative, and then out one of the phases and then we're going to test the voltage drop using the CA connector so I've got my digital multimeter set to uh, measure millivolts and uh, essentially I've just connected to the two middle uh, terminals two middle terminals of the CA connector. Those are the, the shunt positive and shunt negative terminals for the, the cycle analyst connector. So I'm going to measure the voltage drop uh, as I feed 10 amps through. So let's go ahead and run the foam cut program here. Alright, so 10 amps and I am getting 14.3 millivolts. Now uh, the R shunt, the R shunt is based on a um, uh, one amp current, uh, so we need to just divide that number by 10. So if we take 14.3 divided by 10, we get an R shunt value of 1.43 milliohms. So that's what this particular controller is uh, is calibrated to. Uh, obviously, when you set up your cycle analyst, you will uh, you will punch that number in when it uh, asks for the R shunt value, and you should get very accurate readings.